I'm Paul Atterbury. I'm a writer, I'm a historian. I work for the Antiques Roadshow and I work for Travel Editions. I do a talk two or three times a year, different talks, join the group, take part, and then send them on their way. And of course they cover my subjects, which are industrial history, architecture, social history, particularly canals and railways. Tonight it's about the industries of the black country and I talk about the canals and waterways and of course how crucial they were. You know, we couldn't have had an industrial revolution without canals because they gave it a transport system which wasn't there. And so I like to think that people see how all these things mesh together. There are so many parts of Britain hidden that have great history, great things to see. You shouldn't be put off by the title. It's not called the black country because it's black now. You know, it might have been 200 years ago. But now it's, it's filled with history, it's filled with landscape. Because it's a big area. It's not just Birmingham, Wolverhampton. There's lots in between. Travel Edition's approach to presenting history tunes in very much with mine. It's not about a particular thing. It's about how all our history is integrated. And it's all about social history, really, and how people got on, how things emerged, and how Britain is a sort of... It's absolutely packed with little places and interesting things to see where you can open up the door and peel through the history of that time. The people who come on these tours, well, I suppose they're of a certain age, and I'm not being negative about that, so am I, but it's people who have time and a certain amount of leisure, many are retired, but in my conversations with people I meet, many are simply curious. They want to know why I come to the black country, and they sign up and they do, and I hope at the end of it they've all learnt something, and have seen another aspect of Britain.